For a variety of reasons, many athletes choose to switch to vegetarian diets. When executed properly, a vegetarian diet can be extremely beneficial to an athlete's performance and longevity. Some examples of athletes who successfully use or have used vegetarian diets to improve performance include Prince Fielder, Mike Tyson, Carmelo Anthony, and Venus Williams. While research shows that vegetarian diets can be just as effective as diets with meat for athlete performance, figuring out how to replace all of the nutrients lost from meat removal is difficult, especially when dealing with a nut allergy. The types of vegetarians include pesco vegetarian, where the person eats fish, dairy, and eggs, lacto-ovo vegetarian, where the person eats dairy and eggs but no animal flesh, lacto-vegetarian, where the person includes dairy but no eggs, ovo vegetarian, where the person includes eggs but no dairy, and true vegetarian, which is also known as vegan, where the person excludes all animal products. The major nutrient deficiencies that vegetarians face are protein deficiencies, iron, zinc, calcium, and vitamin D. The macronutrient protein is essential for tissue synthesis and repair, formation of enzymes and hormones, and proper immune function. While physically active vegetarians risk inadequate energy by cutting out the high-quality protein sources such as meat and dairy, there are a variety of alternate sources available to choose from. These include eggs and dairy products, except for vegans, grains such as rice, bread, and fortified cereals, legumes such as beans, peas, lentils, and green leafy vegetables and some fruits. Soy protein processed from soybeans may also be an alternate whose protein quality matches that of some animal proteins. Some of these products are tofu, soy milk, veggie burgers, and edamame. Substituting soy protein for animal protein may have additional healthful benefits such as decreasing blood pressure, total cholesterol, and harm harmful LDL cholesterol. Soy may also offer protection against breast cancer. Athletes need iron for efficient oxygen transport throughout the body. During exercise, iron is lost via sweat, and after exercise, iron is lost via urine due to red blood cell breakdown from increased core temperature, spleen activity, and circulation. Intestinal absorption of plant iron, or non-heme iron, is about 20% lower than that of animal iron, or heme iron. To prevent iron deficiency, athletes should increase vitamin C intake and increase their iron intake to 80% above the recommended daily allowance, making it 14 milligrams for men and 33 for women. Some sources of non-heme iron include legumes and dark leafy greens. Zinc is critical for athlete performance and overall health. As most zinc is found in meat and plant sources contain phytic acid, which inhibits zinc absorption, vegetarian athletes should increase their intake to 50% above the recommended daily allowance to ensure adequate absorption. Alternate sources include beans, fortified cereals, pumpkin seeds, and dairy products for lacto-vegetarians. Calcium and vitamin D deficiencies are both applicable to ovo-vegetarians and vegans since they choose to exclude dairy products from their diet. Alternate sources can include soy dairy products, and dark green vegetables such as collard greens and kale. Vegetarian athletes struggle with calcium, iron, protein, and vitamin D deficiencies. So as a college athlete and since, how have you been able to get enough nutrients to sustain your high performance levels before, during, and after exercise? Well, it's always been challenging for me as a vegetarian and also as having a nut allergy. Um, I've had to get proteins from beans, yogurt, and other dairy products, um, tofu, hummus, eggs, things like that. Um, I've also been able to get iron, because that's always a problem, um, from my tofu, beans, uh, spinach, other dark leafy green vegetables, um, and the dairy I, I get from calcium, and um, eggs and dairy also contain vitamin D, and I spend a lot of time outside too. Um, now that I'm older, I also take an iron supplement. 
How do you stay hydrated during the day and during exercise? Um, I try to drink the recommended eight, eight ounce glasses of water every day. Don't always make that, but I try. And if I'm racing, especially a long race, then I'm going to try to drink more. And while I race, I take water at the water stops. And did you ever eat anything during long races? I didn't because when I was racing and running marathons, it was kind of before they had this big, you know, industry of on-the-go foods, things like goo and these protein bars and all that are easily digested. So people would, they would offer things during the race like bananas and all. I never could stomach any of that stuff, so I basically just took water. Back then, I didn't even drink Gatorade during the races, which is not so great, um, you know, you can get actually overhydrated on the water, so. So do you think that if you had had these um, new goo things available to you, you would have been able to perform better? I might have. You, you never know. Thanks. The athletes who typically choose a vegetarian-type lifestyle are those who strive to maintain a lean, light body mass, like gymnasts, dancers, and weight class athletes in boxing and wrestling. However, Studies show that these diets can be beneficial for all types of athletes. A well-balanced vegetarian diet provides abundant carbohydrate, which are crucial during long, intense training or competition. Switching to a vegetarian diet may not only improve athletic performance, it can improve one's overall health by decreasing future risks of disease, cancer, and obesity.